from Halifax who are taking a two and a half hour drive south into Shelburne. So we're really going remote, everyone. David Bromstad is in my town. <laughs> I cannot believe that David Bromstad is in my town in Shelburne. You grew up here? Yeah, this I grew up so here. so cute. So, like, this is crazy. Should we go and talk about your fabulous yes. story? The both of you. <laughs> so cute. Are we a lottery winner or did we come into some money somehow? Uh, won the lottery with a group at my work. <sighs> That's exciting. We have about 20 of us. And the group won three and a half million dollars. So we each got about, I think, 170, 180, roughly thousand dollars. So, yeah, right? That's amazing. Bedrooms, bathrooms, space, give me a vibe. Definitely like three, four bedroom. I would say two bath. If I can see the water, that would be okay. primo. Do we want to be on the water? As long as it's visible from, you know, at least a few rooms. Gotcha. Yard would be great. At least a half an acre. Okay. Like little character home. Ooh, that's um, fun. Something that maybe I can like fix up. Right. How much money are we spending? I'm thinking around like 350. Okay. Just I like cause that. I want to have some money on the side for sure to do some renos. Yeah, that's but exciting. It is exciting. Good for you. It's camp grading. <laughs> Does it feel I weird? It's not like I'm really adulting. <laughs> All right, so Cabot Cove has four bedrooms, two bathrooms. That's on almost three acres. Ooh, ooh we love right? that. You said you had a little wiggle room, and now this is to decide how much wiggle you have. OK. Ready for it? Yes. OK, $425,000. OK, I think we could swing it. It can't hurt to look, right? Yeah, no. Let's take a peek. All right, a wiggle. It's, it's, it's one of my bigger wiggles, well. <laughs> but you know. you know. Here we go. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Oh my goodness, the water. <laughs> you see the view, don't you? Yeah. I mean, having almost three acres right on the ocean. So that's wiggle room. That's, a, that's, I mean, that's paid for itself. <laughs> right Let's start out with our first bedroom. <laughs> really, I would set this up as an office. There is a closet. Okay. But... So, like a nice little at home office. Yeah, I mean, we've got three more bedrooms upstairs, yeah. but let's start out with the kitchen. Okay. All right, come on in. This kitchen is really great size. Oh, the lighting. Love that there are windows looking at water from every direction. I mean, come on. I don't like to wash dishes, but I might like it better here. <laughs> there are three bedrooms upstairs, and the quirkometer is starting up strong up here. Peekaboo! <laughs> We're hitting some marks on the character for sure. Right? Yeah, we love that. And this is the main bedroom. Oh, I love this. And you just wake up to the ocean. Like, that's the dream. Obviously, this pond is included in your property. That's all yours. Skating galore. Love it. I mean, just thinking that this possibly could be all yours oh. is kind of insane, right? Very exciting. Look how amazing this is. Uh. So I'm showing El Seal Harbor today. She said she wanted that quintessential charm, and this house does not disappoint. It was built in 1920. There's nothing wrong with this hoose. Absolutely perfect. Tressa was right. We got the horn. Thank you. <laughs> it's so nautical. <laughs> it's so quintessential Nova Scotia. I love it. Yeah. So I'm really excited to show you the house because it's kind of perfection. Seal Harbor has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Yes. It has just shy of 1,700 square feet. Love that. S sits on a quarter of an acre. Is that good? No, that's less to mow. I love that. Wait till you hear the price. OK. $324,900. dollars Isn't it cute? Oh my god, stop. This is so cute. All right, it keeps getting better and better and oh, better. Oh, wow, I love oh, the little reading nook. Oh, gorgeous. You know, I normally don't love a painted floor, but in here it works. It works. Oh, look at that. OK. Look at the view. Look at the view. I mean, the size of the windows were what they put in original, and same with all the trim. So much light. Love all of this fun detail, right? It's beautiful. I mean, adorable, adorable. Just the character that, you know, I asked for, you delivered. I delivered. Look the ceiling. The ceiling is everything. Oh, it's amazing. You know, they have a lot of tin ceilings for sale, but they don't look like this. And I mean, there's so much you can keep to keep the character. Well, there's a few things I would do in here to kind of update, it. obviously, the appliances. Of course. And we have the money to do it. Oh, yeah. This has so much potential. Yeah. 
There's a bathroom here, right off the dining and kitchen. Full size, not just a half. Okay, it's renovated. This is good. Little view while you do your business. Why not? All right, upstairs does not disappoint either. So cute. I have to watch my head, but I don't think you need to. <laughs> okay, the tall boyfriend will have to do the same. Yeah. We're gonna start with the main bedroom. How cute is this? Oh my gosh, and you get the view of the boats? Oh, this is gorgeous. Right? Brightwood Bay is an impressive home. It was built in 1862. It comes with a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of square footage, and a lot of acres. What do you think of this cute little oh house? Oh my god, what a cute little door. Is it adorable? Bright and fun. Bright and fun. So Brightwood Bay has four bedrooms and two bathrooms. Perfect. Almost 2,200 square feet. Okay. So it's on almost 23 acres. Oola! It's priced at $315,000. Oh, okay. Sounds like a bargain. Sounds amazing. But the upstairs all needs to be redone. It's going to cost money. Well. But it's a great house. Let's see it. Shall we? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's historic. It's historic. I love the stairs. Look at this. And the trim. Look at this trim. It's so chunky. <laughs> like, the detail here is really beautiful. It's got a very farmhousey feel, but also they put some money into it when they built it. That's so cool. Let's go sneak in here. Huge, huge. I mean, it's open. It's set up for oh. today's living, which is super nice. Yeah, this is a huge space. Why don't you take a look around? OK. Enjoy. Oh, I love an island. Then you can see all your friends. It's so open, right? Oh, this is fabulous. Yeah. Oh, lots of storage. Tons of storage. Brand new cabinets. I feel like this is the most storage. OK, this is great. And it's brand new, right? Yeah. The downstairs bathroom is brand new, too. Wow, this is very large. I could do yoga in here if I wanted. Okay. <laughs> the well, complete Ooh, with deliciousness. It's going to be fresh water. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. How big conceptually is 23 acres? I can't even, I don't even know how big that means. All I know is that it was a 25-minute <laughs> walk. OK, OK. Yes. Yeah. So it's something to consider. Yeah, definitely to consider. Don't take too much time, because there's not a lot of uh, inventory out there, so. Yeah, OK. Yeah. I say we go walk to the lighthouse. You out for a little stroll? Ooh, I love that. I want to go see where your memories were I created think when you were so. a little kid. We can go to the beach. Want to sit here? Yeah, it's cute, perfect. right? Little patio moment. Hello, why not? You know, I totally get why you wanted to move back here. It is really charming. It's really quaint, right? The quality of life here is amazing, and you're not spending a ton of money on a house to get really, really beautiful views and really fun houses. Love all of them. Yeah, that's the issue. I know, right? Cabot Cove, I love that property. 425 at the top of the budget, but it was moving ready. Maybe it's a little farther from town, but you have a beach in your backyard. Right. You can go for long walks on the beach. Skipping rocks is that for my days. House? Like, uh, right. I also, Seal Harbor, I love the character of that house. It's bright, it's colorful, and all those cute little nautical themed yeah. decorations in. Even though it came in right at the bottom of your budget, there's no yard there, so you'd have to put in some money. Mm -hmm. There's still work to do there. And then Brightwood, Brightwood Bay. Brightwood Bay? Almost 23 acres. Almost 2,200 square feet of house. The price point of that one really gives us some flexibility. And we can do so much with that amount of wiggle room as far as renovations upstairs. Yep. We're going to go for Brightwood Bay. I mean, how could you turn that down? It was already done in the downstairs. A nice open space for us to be able to see a little one. And all the land. Yeah, and how it's cool so that? close to town. It's easy for us to recruit grandparents. I was just about to say, how, how, far, how far is that away from your parents' house? Eight minutes. Cheers to you and your beautiful budding family. And a new home. Is that a virgin? Yeah. OK, good. All right. <laughs> I've been 
waiting for years to be able to move back to Nova Scotia. It's especially amazing that I can move back to my hometown. It's gonna be lots to do, but here we go. I guess adventure begins. Well, my partner is coming down in a week. He uh, has a laundry list of things he wants to start working on. The upstairs bathroom and just the bedrooms, making sure those are in a great place, as well as baby spaces. I think it's going to turn out really amazing. What a beautiful house. <laughs> My family has not seen the house yet, so I'm so excited to show them around. Oh, wow. Hello. Welcome. Wow. I know they're excited for us to have a property in the area. We're finally going to be close. Yes, you guys so. want a tour? Yes. Yeah. yeah. OK. Well, I mean, oh kitchen. the kitchens. And the home was in the same family for, like, generations. They left us some really cool stuff. Oh. I know, love. It's hey, time so travel. Takes me back to mom and dad's oh old house. Whoa. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I think it brings the charm that uh, we would have wanted to put into the house and just keep that uh, that history. Cheers to a new house. A new, a new house, house, a new baby, a new, a new, a new life. Family.